Hello everyone, this is Ms. Fatma and I'm really happy to be teaching you English in your senior year at the Modern American School. I'm also happy to announce that we have new books for this year. Uh, they're really nice and they're full of fun activities that we will enjoy doing together. Okay, so let me walk you through the first unit of study. In our first unit, we'll be talking about the notion of heroism, okay? What makes a hero? Uh, who is a real hero? And how this idea is perceived by different cultures. Okay, so our essential question would be, what makes a hero? So whether it means fighting a legendary monster or refusing to engage in violence, there are different ways to be a hero and a leader. Through ages, hero have been a popular theme in literature and around the world, and this unit has been designed to allow you to explore a range of ideas about how heroes are created and perceived. And honestly, what's a real hero? Okay, so are we talking here about superheroes like Batman and Superman that find that fight legendary monsters and save the world? Or are we just talking about normal people who perform heroic acts? Well, um, just think of this. Isn't a dad that, for example, juggles three jobs to put food on the table for his kids a hero in their eyes? Aren't the nurses and the doctors who are saving people who are battling COVID-19 in hospitals heroes, okay? Think of that when you read the unit, okay? So in our unit, we have some fictitious heroes as well as ordinary people. It talks about ordinary people who perform heroic acts. It also talks about heroes, wars, and so on, okay? Um, so the unit starts off with a video, okay? And this video introduces us to the theme of the whole unit, okay? In this video, this video talks about the speech Queen Elizabeth gave before her troops when, uh, before going into battle against the Spanish Armada. So at that time, uh, the English were Protestants and the Spanish were Catholics and people were fighting over that so the Spanish wanted to attack England okay and this is when Queen Elizabeth I came out to her troops and uh, addressed them encouraged them encouraging them to fight and stand against the invaders okay so this is a true leader okay this is what we can call a hero, okay? So, and they actually, just to tell you, they actually fought and won, okay? Now, after that, you'll have like a small prompt you will have to discuss, and the prompt here is around the world and throughout time, leaders have sent warriors to into battles. So, what inspired warriors, what inspires warriors to make such personal sacrifices okay so what inspired these troops okay to fight this huge fleet of ships from the spanish okay to stand beside their leader and fight okay for their country so this is what we're going to talk about you're going to write your response and we'll share it in class and we will carry out a discussion concerning this notion okay uh, we'll also talk about unit set, uh, goal setting, okay? So at the beginning of every unit, you will have to rate your set, how good you are in certain things, in reading, writing, language, and speaking. So be rating yourself from one to five, and you have a chart to do that. And at the end of the chapter, you'll be rating yourself again, and to see uh if you have improved okay during this period of study now 
I also want to talk about the academic vocabulary, okay? Of course, the, uh, you will have some words introduced at the beginning of the unit. And why do we learn vocabularies in the first place? We learn them to enrich our vocabulary, to become better in reading and writing and speaking, right? So this vocabulary is related to writing and uh, discuss writing uh, arguments, okay? So you will review the word, its root, and the mental sentences. They will give you the meaning, they'll give you the word, the root, and a sentence that has the word, okay? You will use this information and your own knowledge to predict the meaning of each of these words. And for each word, okay, you will have to list related words. So you'll, now you'll have the word and you'll have synonyms related to it, okay? And of course, you can refer to a dictionary or other resources if needed, okay? Now, let's look at the words, okay? So the words you have, purport, credible, assertion, presume, and contradictory. And of course, as I told you, you have the mental sentences. This is where you have to predict the meaning. This is at the beginning of every unit, okay? Now, uh, the whole unit is presented by the launch text, okay? And the launch text will is normally uh, the model of writing you will, uh, the model uh, presents the model of your writing, okay, for your writing. So this launch te text, World of Heroes, okay, presents you with an argument model. So you can see how an argument is done and later on write one, okay, write an argument model yourself. So this text actually talks about uh, uh, ordinary people who become heroes by performing heroic acts. So it argues that the hero is an ordinary person and doesn't have to be those superheroes we know, read about, and we watch in movies. Okay, so this is the launch deck. We'll go deeper into this and we'll talk about the activities related to the launch text. Okay, uh, let me walk you through some of the texts you will be reading. You'll be reading epic poetry and this is from Beowulf, okay? Beowulf is an epic poem written in 3,000 lines. We're not going to read the 3,000 lines. We're going to pick and choose parts of it and read it. Of course, it's written in Old English uh, and it's very hard to read. So we're going to read the translated version of it. It's translated by Burton Raffle and it talks, this is the anchor text, of course. This is a must read. It talks about a fictitious character that was called to the land of the Geats, a hero, to save them from a monster that's been threatening their land. Okay? Now, we'll also look at the adaptation of, it, of this certain text into a graphic novel, and we will, the media adaptation of the text, and we will compare between the two. Okay? So, this is the graphic novel, and we read the epic poem and we compare between the two. Okay? We also have a selection of poems. The first is two poems. Of course, all these poems talk about war heroes. Okay? So the first poem is To the Caster on Going to war Wars by Richard Lovelace. And we have The Charge of the Light Brigade by Lord Alfred Tennyson. We also have uh, Dulce Ed Cromest and that is a poem that talks about war as well. And so we have a selection of poems, we have poetry, we have a graphic novel, okay? Also, for at the end of all this, you will have to do your performance task, which is writing an argument essay and giving an, a speech, okay? Thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.